What's up, everybody? Excuse the noise, but I got my AC running today in the mobile kitchen. Normally, I just out for a fan, but man, it's that kind of hot today. But uh, this is Chef Anthony Albright in the Carolina cook, cooking, tasting, and eating the Carolinas. All right, today I'm gonna uh, present to you a meal. I'm gonna present a simple meal to y'all today that could be done in like 20 minutes. All right. So, sometimes people just want quick and simple. All right, so this is simple. It's gonna take like 20 minutes to prepare. All right. Pretty much sheet pan, sausage, and peppers. Just get yourself a sheet pan, some oil, and some peppers and some sausage. Oh, and some onions. And you're on your way. If you got that much in your kitchen right now, you're on your way. All right. So you could just go along with me or you could just go grab it later and do it. But this this is quick, y'all, it's quick. There's several options with this dish. You can do it as a hot dog or you can do it with over rice or over some noodles. We're gonna start by cutting the green bell pepper, yellow pepper, red pepper, and uh, yellow onion in the slices, large slices. The color combination of these peppers and everything mixed together is going to give these hot dogs a beautiful presentation. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm kind of tearing up here. Ooh, my eyes. Yeah, cutting onions, always hard. Always hard. Yeah, it's always just so sad to cut an onion because. It's just so painful to have to, to have to kill an onion, to have to kill a good onion. Ah, yeah. It's always sad to cut onions. Woo. But I'll be all right though. We're gonna get through this. It was a terrible loss, but we'll get through this. All right, now that everything is uh, sliced and diced, I'm gonna drizzle with olive oil. About two tablespoons will do. Gonna hit them with some black pepper. If I can see those specks of pepper all over this, I know it's done right. Gonna hit them with a little salt. All right, now once you got that salt and pepper booed up in there with that oil, you just wanna roll everything around, toss everything around. Let that salt and pepper have a good time with the oil. All right, after that, you just want to lay your sauces on the on the bed of uh, peppers and onions. That way, the flavor from the sauces will cook down into Whatever the veggies. Whatever type of sauces you use is on you. You can use Italian sauces or, you know, sauces with a lot of spices, herbs, and stuff in it to give you more flavor, however you want to do it. Now, as an added bonus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some all-purpose seasoned salt to the top. I mean, let's be honest here. We want some flavor, okay? Top it off with that. You can pretty much add whatever seasonings you want to. All right, then you just setting them in the oven that you had preheated to 400 degrees. You bring it down to 350, and you just let these go for 20 minutes. The first 10 minutes you let them go, then you stir everything around to make sure it's not burning and let it go for the remaining 10 minutes. All right, so that's the first 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna, you know, stir the veggies and everything around and let them go for the remaining 10 minutes. You know, basically just moving them around, moving everything around a little, little bit, you know. Then I'll get these sausages turned over on the other side. Let the other side go, you know, let the other side go. But as you can see, everything, uh, softening up real good cooking real good it's already about time to take these out you can see that all the veggies and everything are softened uh the onions are translucent and everything like they need to be you know as an added bonus and flavor enhancer i'm going to stick them under the brawler when i'm done you know give them a nice little brawl on the top of the veggies and the sausage 
Just a small detail like that will boost the flavor profile. I like to leave the oven open and watch the brawling process so I'll know exactly when to stop it. And right about now, it's time to stop it. Because you see how fast this can get away. Now that I've brawled everything to my desired level, I've turned off the stove and as it cools, I'll leave the pan sitting under the brawler. At this point, I don't have to worry about it burning because the stove is cooling. Mustard now dressing. let's make this mustard Then whip some of that up. Okay. All right, y'all, to make this uh, mustard dressing, you're pretty much going to mix a little bit of uh, yellow mustard, olive oil, apple cider vinegar. Old school Southerners say and winner. Just for a little extra little, they put a W on. You know, garnish and little boost in the flavor profile. I added some dry basil, and this is your result right here. You know, like a mustard dressing, pretty much. So it's like a tart, vinegary type of uh, mustard mixture. It's like mustard on, on steroids, something like that. Gives your mustard a little kick and a little boost. All right, so that's the mustard dressing right there. That's that. It's nothing hard. Just mix it up to your desired taste. That's all. All right, y'all, this is the finished plate. I got one... Uh, hot dog unassembled one fully assembled you know just for the presentation of the plate that's all um now we're going to see if this thing is as good as it looks all days of summer i already sweated my shirt out this shirt no longer says naughty by nature it says sweaty by nature Ooh, now a nice little breeze coming through i got my mobile kitchen door open then turned the air off because i'm getting ready to get out of here that's why i'm sweating Let's get this dog a taste. Spectacular. This little mustard uh, dressing brings it up there a little bit. Oh, yeah. Quick, easy, simple. Just go get yourself some sausage, peppers, and onions. Some sausage dog buns, not hot dog buns. Sausage dog buns, a little more sturdier, a little more heavy duty. And you got yourself a quick 20 minute meal. Just remember, if you're not happy, you just might not be eating good. Change your diet mentally, physically, and spiritually, all right? We got enough bad people and negative people in this world. Don't be one of them. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share the love, and subscribe. Sending y'all South Carolina love wherever y'all at. Peace. Now, I know y'all didn't think that I wasn't going to bust the rest of this glizzy down. <laughs> you got me twisted. Shareth thou the love and subscribeth unto my channel and smiteth that notification button. Thank you.